all right hey everyone welcome back to another short sweet and simple lecture on salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about how do you run a test class right there are different ways of doing it we'll discuss some of them let's take a look so i am on my salesforce org and if i go to developer console there's a menu bar item or a menu item that says test right what i can do is i can click on the new run button and i can find all the test classes that currently exist in my org right i can just choose one of them i can say add selected and i can run the test class and if i go to my, my logs i see that the test has completed forgot password controller test and down below i can see the coverage for that particular class which is 88 percent that's one way to go about it the other way is if you have a new run you can click on a method you can click on the class name and you can run selective methods like if you're not sure whether the third method is failing or not and you want to check what is the coverage uh, provided by these two methods you can just choose them and you can say run so you don't have to run the entire class only specific methods that's another way to do it let's see if this ran successfully it did and this is lightning forgot password so if i check the lightning forgot password it is uh, giving me 50 percent coverage and now if i run the entire class let's say or let's just say lightning forgot password if i run just the third method what is the coverage this is giving us let's see so this is also successful let's see what's the coverage down below it is giving 50 percent just that third method right so this is how you can run specific methods that's what uh, another way to go about it what if you wanted to run multiple classes together you can select them by pressing shift on your keyboard right you can choose them so i can choose all of them and i can even say add selected and this will run all my classes so if you see this will run all classes and down below i'll get a test run report of all the classes which have passed or failed and i can see that the overall coverage for every class is defined here and i have 71 percent i see that there's one class which is opportunity process handler which does not have a test class probably so it's not really uh, covering anything right what's another way to run it if i go to salesforce if i go to setup there's something that's called apex test execution so if on the quick find box i'll type in apex test execution what you can do is similar to how you do things on developer console you can just say select tests and you can find either you can choose all you can choose some specific ones and you can say run so this will create a new job and this will run some test classes and once this is completed you should see the log coming on the developer console this new log right here is one from the apex test execution so you see everything is displayed here all the methods information is also here if something fails you get the information here cool and if if you are running a test class and you want to abort it you can just click on the uh, uh, checkbox that's available here let's say i do this if i just say all and say run and if i want to abort it i can just say choose and abort so this will abort my action now before i could do that it ran it but if it takes some time it can it will abort your test class uh, execution okay what's another way to do it there's one more way if i go to test i can create a new suite a test suite right i'll say new suite and what is this for i'll say my first run this is for a specific set of test classes that you want to execute many times right let's say you're working on a functionality that involves the uh, community and that involves the lightning forms right so you would want to run only these specific ones right what i'll do is i'll add them here by this icon and i'll just say save so this saves my test suite what i can do next is i don't have to click on the new run every time and choose them every time instead i can just say test new uh, suite run and here i will see that i have a my first run suite i'll just say add it here and i'll say run suites so what this will do this will run only those classes that are added in my test suite if you see these are the only classes that have run and that's giving me my coverage right and can you run multiple suites as at once you can you can choose both the suites that are available here and you can run them together even that can be done all right so a lot of different ways to do it one the, the simplest way i did not mention is if i go to a specific class this is a test class right let's say i go to uh, let's say start test and if i open something like community login controller test right you get a run test button here on your developer console so you can click on the run test and this runs the single test class and whatever class this is covering it will give you the coverage for that particular class so if i go to this class and i click on the code coverage i see that everything is covered and it is 100 percent and it's being covered by the test class that we ran all right 
a quick recap you can either run run test on by going to the respective test class you can go to the test button here you can say new run choose one or multiple you can even choose specific methods or you can create a new suite here and you, you can execute some specific set of classes and run them or you can go to setup and you can go to apex test execution and you can select tests here and you can run them right these are all the ways you can do it from salesforce there's one more way using vs code we'll take a look at it in in some other lecture all right that's also pretty straightforward but all right let me see if i have something set up let's see if i go to vs code let's open himanshu's repo so if you see i have this repo here and if i go to classes i don't really have anything so what would happen is let's say i want to create a apex class right and let's create one method all right just two lines here and i'll write one more class which is a test class so i'll say opportunity process test right and here i'll just put the at the rate is test annotation and here i'll just remove the constructor and i'll add is test annotation for my method i'll call it public static void handle test scenario one right let's call my method which is opportunity process class dot handle scenario handle scenario right let's save it now i'll just deploy these two to my org let's say deploy i'm not sure if this will deploy or not because my repo might not be my org might not be connected let's see what happens so this got deployed which is cool but if i wanted to run the test class what would i do i would simply say command shift p or control shift p and i would say run apex test so you see you have two options here as well either you can run a test suite similar to developer console or you can run apex test now when i click on run apex test it will ask me which ones do you want to run are there any specific classes or all the tests or all local tests so i'll say opportunity process test is what i want to run so this will run my apex test and it will give me the result right here so you see i am getting the entire result here and it says that the outcome is passed the pass rate is 100 percent which is the coverage and uh, the fail rate is zero and the overall outcome is passed so if i see my opportunity process class this is basically covered cool so this is how you can run it from vs code we don't need another video it's covered here all right so that's all i had for uh, this particular video in salesforce bytes i'll see you in the next one bye